Let me tell you the story about what we're gonna go look at right now. Now, none of this is necessarily true. It's just what people are saying, you know what I mean? So take it with a grain of salt. I'm going to until I actually see it with my own eyes. It has to do with this creepy little shed up on the hill. We're gonna find out if it's true. Just me and you. Oh, what I'm seeing so far leads credence to what they're saying takes place here and could be true. Again, I'm not saying it is, but people are talking about it. Look, bones. Is it human? I don't know, but look, it's been butchered. And you know what? That's what they're telling me. They're telling me that there's a cult that meets here. Or maybe it's just the old owner that was a member of the cult that would meet here. But they would come up here and sacrifice people, butcher them right here. You know, trust me, I don't believe that story, but it is weird that we'd find bones on the way up here that have been butchered like that. It's like a leg bone or something that's been cut off, like saw the lower leg off. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is the blood tub he was telling me about. He said, if you came up here, did you have a chill run down your spine? I absolutely promise you, I just had a chill run down my spine. He said, you come up on the hill, there's a tub of blood, blood water. They call it the blood tub, all the neighbors. This is part of the sacrificial process. This is like the primary primo thing of blood and it spills over and they get the rest of the, I don't know, iron stuff out of the blood right there. And you know what they asked they told me? They told me that when they're done, when they have sucked the bones dry, that there's a cistern up here that they dump them in. And you know what? There's a cistern right there. Oh no, look at that. Man, I don't know. This looks like just a pump house up here, huh? Oh, wow, look. It looks like the, uh, what's that movie? The, uh, uh, from dusk till dawn, where you look behind the place where all the vampires are, and it's like all these old build, old uh, trucks and stuff where all the truckers were killed. Kind of the same thing, except this looks like it goes back to, what's that, 1930s maybe? Some farmer they probably lured up here that was coming down south to maybe Depression era, looking for a new way of life, make a dollar. Oh. I just stuck myself in the eye. Oh no, I don't think whatever's here wants us to see what's in that cistern. Ow! The bleeding? <laughs> yeah, I should wear goggles. All right, let's just look in that cistern. I really don't think there's gonna be full of human corpses that are all butchered and bone sucked dry of the marrow by a coven or coven or whatever they call them, a witches or Satan worshippers, but we have to look at this point. But we also have to be really careful because they almost got my eye. Cheapers creepers. If you ever that's one of the scariest movies that the only scary movie that still sticks in my mind for some reason. Uh Jeepers Creepers. Alright, you ready? Yeah, he's got a some type of metal on here. That's cast into the concrete. This is, looks like a lid we could pull off. Well, so far, it's a possibility that the rumor, it, oh yeah, you can tell people grab this and pull this off all the time, that the rumor is true. God, I hope it's not full of corpses, dismembered corpses. Of course, we might be letting the spirits out, which would be a good thing too if they're trapped in there. Oh no, look at that. It looks like a skull down there. See that little shiny thing? It looks like a bear skull. Not a bear skull, but a bear skull. The English language is a little weird sometimes. All right, flashlight time. It's nice and clear. Oh, wow. Well, I don't see, ah, I'm gonna my flashlight. I don't see any human skulls or dismembered humans, but you know what I do see is lots of little rats. Those are rats right there that died. Look at the whiskers and their tails. Oh, poor little dudes. They somehow got in there, I don't know how. 
but I'm relieved to let the spirits out. So I hope you enjoyed that little adventure. I'm going to slip on out of here if they let me or it lets me and uh, tend to this eye that seems to be watering and hurting a lot. Hopefully it's still there. I can still see. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. It's all good fun. So I'm walking back down the hill to my truck. <laughs> one of these branches just went in my ear and ruptured my eardrum. <laughs> well, not really, but it did go in my ear. <laughs> I need to get out of here, man. <laughs>